All right, hey, good evening, and welcome to the Inglewood Enterprise Galleries TV show here at Can TV on Channel 21. We like to call it the Shy Rise Show, and as we always love to say, Shy Rise, not Shy Rack. I am your host, Mr. Medina, and it's such a pleasure to be here once again. Um, we are. The Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, located at our new headquarters at 1200 West 35th Street. That is 1200 West 35th Street, 35th and Racine. You can always reach us by phone at 773-719-9848. And please feel free to check out our website for updates at inglewoodenterprisegallery.com. That's Inglewood Enterprise gallery.com and you can of course email us at enterprise gallery at gmail.com all right once again I, I am your host mr medina and it's a pleasure to be here uh on this thursday at 5 30 and you can always catch our show uh here at can tv channel 21 5 30 on thursdays the inglewood enterprise gallery we are uh south sides one of the south sides newest creative co-working spaces we engage in a lot of different uh, artistic and creative projects and programs from public artwork to youth art programming in the schools to also youth mentorship uh, and many other things that we engage in the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. Also, since a picture is worth a thousand words, I always like to show uh, a short video clip giving people a visual idea of all of the great things that we do at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. So check this out and feel free to call in and let me know what you think. Our number is 312-738-1060 uh, if you would like to get in right now at this very moment. Meanwhile, check this out and let me know what you think. Looks like my internet was buffering, but I'm back. Hey, we're back again. Yeah, so uh, creative co-working space, public art projects, open mics, and a whole uh, host of different projects is what we engage in at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. We always work to offer options to our young people as well as our adults in the community. One of my personal philosophies is that um, we are able to uplift humanity using arts and creativity. Um, a lot of times when we want to envision ourselves in a better place and a better world, it starts with exactly that, a vision. Uh, we have to imagine it, then we have to plan it out, and then we have to implement our plan. So uh, things start with visionary imagination and that's why creativity is so important and that's what we believe in at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. Also, I have a few announcements for some, um, some very important things coming up that we would love to have you, uh, or, uh, you or your friends out uh, to participate in. Tomorrow on October 18th is actually open studios at our new location, uh, uh, Third Friday's open studios when they, where they invite all of the artists uh, and the participants over at our new space out to uh, get involved, open their doors, and engage the public. So, at our new location, 1200 West 35th Street, which is actually the Bridgeport Artist Loft Building, you can find us on the fourth floor. We will be there. And for anybody who has seen our show or heard about some of the things that we uh, have been involved with, we welcome you to come out and see what else the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery has to offer. As a matter of fact, if you don't mind, I'd like to show you very quickly what uh, you need to look for when you come to the building. The way you know, um, the way you're able to identify the building at 1200 West 35th Street is they have this big metal horse 
out front. It is an artist building, uh, Bridgeport uh, Art Center, also known as the Bridgeport Artist Loft. That's where a new location is. And you can see this big metal horse right out there on the corner, uh, among other, other sculptures out there. Um, very large sculptures, so you can't miss them right there at the corner of Racine and 35th Street. So yes, Third Fridays, open studios, we like to invite you out to see what's going on. The building is a great building, a lot of different artists are there participating and involved. It's a free event, open to the public. And you may see everything from the clay art studio to the dance studio to uh, visual artists. They have three galleries on three different floors there at the art center, as well as the fashion area. And um, something else interesting. So some of the things that we have been up to um, at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery for anybody who um, has been actually following uh, what we have been doing uh, over the course of time. We used to be located at 71st and Wentworth, but we did have to move temporarily to a new space. But um, since then, we did facilitate our regular uh, youth mentorship program this past summer. That was great. I actually have a few video clips of some of the great things that our young people participated in over the summer. We uh, gave them some um, entrepreneurship, business, mentorship, education over the course of the summer. We gave them an opportunity to uh, create their own videography projects. We also gave them an opportunity to learn new arts and craft techniques as well as we taught a bunch of the young people sewing, which is actually, um, it's a dying art, you know. so. Um, Sewing, trade, creativity, and a lot of other things are things that uh, we used to have a lot of access to, but our access to it is really dwindling down. Um, and that's another reason why we, we feel it's important to do what we do at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. We like to continue to promote creativity, uh, to continue to create, I mean to promote um, building things, um, imagining things and creating them with our hands, uh, knowing knowing how to equip ourselves with the right tools to make things uh, ha or make it happen and put things together. So it's, uh, it's an awesome experience and it's awesome work that we do. We love uh, working with our young people and showing them all these great things. As a matter of fact, I actually have another video clip and uh, maybe my internet speed is up to par right about now and uh, I'll get to the end of this video. But this is some of the work that we do with our sewing classes um, with the young people and um, some of these young people that we're working with have never even seen a sewing machine, let alone had the opportunity to learn about what sewing and the trade of sewing is all about. Once again, um, you can call us right now live at 312-738-1060 because if, uh, if you sew or if you took sewing class as a youth or even if you took a trade class, auto mechanics or something like that, call in and give me an idea of how learning new skills has affected your life in a positive way. I'm sure. Maybe a negative way, but I doubt it. But yeah, tell us how learning new skills has affected your life and why it may be important that we continue to pass this important information down to our young people. Meanwhile, check out this brief video. There we go. <laughs> brief video I hope I didn't eat up too much of your time but you know we always like to highlight some of the uh, positive awesome stuff that we have our young people engaged in at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery and actually that fashion lab that you saw there is uh, one of our latest projects that we have going on 
um, and you can actually find our fashion lab over hey at Bridgeport Artist Lofts at our new location. As a matter of fact, if you make it out tomorrow, uh, we have a couple of uh, demonstrations going on at the Fashion Lab. It's a free opportunity. Please come in and check it out to see. A lot of times when people think of sewing, they just think of sewing. But um, sewing and fashion is so much more. You know, you uh, can get off into accessories, bags, hats shoes and all other types of stuff so we feel that all of these things are important to get the attention of our young people you know as a matter of fact I would like to share a, a short story um, and hopefully I don't get too long-winded but I'm a very uh, big proponent of creativity because in a, in a way creativity and the arts really saved, saved my life as a, you know, as a young black male here in Chicago, things get kind of challenging and the violence that we see um, nowadays is really nothing new to our communities. Um, me, growing up as a teen in the 90s, we experienced uh, similar bouts with violence and self-hatred and all of this other stuff, you know, but uh, I, would, I aligned myself and got hooked up with an art center at the age of 14 years old. And the art center really became a pillar in my life and my lifestyle because before I got involved with the art center, I was hanging out with my buddies, you know, um, and as they say, idle hands are the devil's playthings, if I said that, that right. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you don't have something constructive to do, you don't have something positive to do, sometimes we find ourselves engaged in things that are counterproductive and engaged in things that could be destructive, all right? Or sometimes you get yourself caught up in the things just by hanging around with the wrong crowd. So um, the other young men that I grew up with, you know, some of them didn't have any aspiration, you know, some of them didn't have any drive to do anything positive. And unfortunately, many of us thought that we would die at a young age for some reason, you know, but it was really uh, arts and creativity and a place called the Boulevard Arts Center, which um, I don't believe is even around anymore. But I, engage, I got engaged at the Boulevard Arts Center at the age of about 13 or 14 years old. So what happened in the process is that the Boulevard Art Center was an opportunity for me to get off of the street at those crucial ages in a young man's life here in Chicago or anywhere else where he may find himself in trouble and turmoil. And I was actually able to convert all of this energy that I had built up into something positive and creative. And this is why I feel like and I stand by my mantra that arts and creativity we're able to use to uplift humanity. You know, um, there were several times as a young man when, you know, I got into fights, I might have been shot at just by standing around on my own block, doing nothing, but once again I was being idle. I was standing in the right place at the wrong time and things like that. So when we give our young people more to do with their time, more creative things to do, um, more things to learn. Learning is very important and that's another thing that I love about arts and creativity, you know, and you, if you watch this show at all, you may have even heard me say this before, but um, art increases what um, brain scientists or neurologists call neuroplasticity. And neuroplasticity is actually how our brain grows. So the more art and creative things that we engage in, our brain actually grows and becomes heavier from that for whatever reason. I don't really know why, but that's what the scientists say. And I believe them because I think that um, art and creativity increases our ability to imagine. And imagination is part of creation. You have to be creative in order to create, whether you're a contractor or an engineer or a builder or um, somebody involved in any of those aspects of building and actually creating something. Those creations start with a design and the design comes out of the imagination of somebody and they utilize 
their imagination and creativity along with the laws of nature and physics. Let's say if they build in a building, that building has to be in harmony with the laws of physics and the laws of nature. As an example, gravity, all right? The building can't just be based off of creativity because it'll just fall down if it doesn't have the laws of structural steel, the laws of gravity, uh, and things like that involved. That's also important, but creativity helps increase what they call the aesthetics. Um, what makes the building or the structure pleasing or interesting to the eye? What will actually attract people to that building, to that house, to that structure, or even to that fancy car that we may see? You know, you see a nice car driving down the street, it catches our attention. That car started as a vision as an image in somebody's head. And that person was able to take that image out of their head, put it on paper, and then hand that image over to the right person, that design over to the right person who could make that image come to life. That's why creativity is so important. Because if we don't have creativity, who will create new things? Who will create new innovations, all right? Once again, it's important that we promote creativity in our own communities, in our own neighborhoods, so that people in our communities, in our neighborhoods, in the Chicagoland area, south side, west side, east side, north side, whatever side they're on, we want all of our young people to experience the joys of creativity, experience the joys of imagination, and and the fulfillment that you get when you actually produce something with your own hands. You know, whether it is uh, sewing or fashion, whether it is a dance choreography, whether it is photography, um, all of these things are aspects of creativity and it is important that we continue to explore them. Once again, we are the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. Uh, located at our new location, 1200 West 35th Street, uh, Chicago, Illinois, of course. Uh, you can always feel free to check out our website at EnglewoodEnterpriseGallery.com. That is EnglewoodEnterpriseGallery.com. And you can always email us at EnterpriseGallery at gmail.com. That's EnterpriseGallery at gmail.com. All right, I want to make sure that I don't skip anything because I also have a few a uh, few other announcements out there to anybody that may be uh, in TV world listening. Number one, um, the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, we are always looking to network with artists as well as other organizations and see how we may be able to uh, continue to build community, how we can continue to come together to fulfill our goals uh, that we set out for as um, agents of community development in whatever way that we operate. So uh, we would like to invite those out there with open arms to see how we can engage. Feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email if there's some way that we may be able to work together on upcoming projects because we welcome that at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, especially youth-based youth -based projects also, I would like to give out a call to artists, if there are any artists out there, or people looking to expand their art and their creativity, we welcome that as well. Let's see how we may be able to work together once again. The Inglewood Enterprise Gallery is a creative co-working space, so we welcome creative people, creative organizations uh, to see how we can work together and create more awesome stuff for the community, the city, the state, the world, as well as the universe. There is no limit. All right. Um, so we're not only looking for artists as well as other organizations to network with and see how we may be able to work together. If you got a wall, all right, maybe you got a wall somewhere. If you got a wall that we can come in and put some creative, inspirational, beautification uh, artwork on, 
give us a call. We're open for walls. We like to bring some of our artists in, especially some of our young people, our teenagers involved in our mentorship programs and the Youth Business Network and uh, the Youth uh, Entrepreneurship Society and uh, all of the creative organizations that we work with and the young people that we work with. We would love to have more walls to express more creativity and beautification on. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can check out some of our public artwork uh, installations. Uh, well, one main one is over on 63rd and Halsted. If you're ever driving by 63rd and Halsted, we were involved with some of the artwork over there at 63rd and Halsted. Also out on 95th at uh, Longwood CICS. We actually got about a hundred um, graduating seniors involved in that particular project that I like to call a peace pyramid. If I don't run out of time, maybe I'll be able to pull it up on the television. I mean, uh, on the uh, on the screen for you. But one more important thing is that. Um, Art supplies and donations. Hey, we're always open for art supplies and donations. If you happen to have some, give us a call, shoot us an email, come on by to our new location at the Bridgeport Artist Lofts and find us the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery located on the fourth floor. If you got any art supplies, we would love to have them. Sometimes people have stuff accumulating in their basement, in their attic, in their classroom, in their storage. If you got some art supplies that you are looking to part, with, give us a call, reach out to us. We may even send the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery bus over there to pick that stuff up. All right, once again, we are the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery at 1200 West 35th Street, and I have another awesome video for you to take a look at before they kick me off of the TV. All right, give me one second, and here we go. <laughs> Officers are the top management team of a corporation. Stockholders are owners of shares of stock in a corporation. They mean bringing in, bringing in goods for sale to another country. It's exported where you send goods to another country for sale. So an economic and political system in which a country, trade, and industry are controlled by private owners for profit. Entrepreneur, a person who organizes and operates a business. As for business, business is an occupation, um, in other words, a profession, a trade, or a volume of trade, which means it can be passed on to our family. Profit is a gain that can be used as an advantage or benefit. The command and supply. So the demand part is the amount or the quantity of the services or goods that want to give the customer. And the supply part is the amount of goods the customer can receive in the price range. It's marketing, like marketing is a meaning of people uh, buying and selling at a store, sale of food, labor is a physical, a mental work of hard work, kind of, or a job to task that has to be done. Marketing. All right. Hey, okay. So, I'm always impressed when I watch that video, you know. Um, we engage a lot of young people in our youth mentorship programs, and I'm a big proponent of young people understanding business, understanding entrepreneurship. Now, granted, I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I think it's important that our young people understand how business works because it's time that they handle their business, all right? You need to know the difference between work and entrepreneurship. You need to know the difference between supply and demand. I think that it's important that our young people understand these concepts so that they can be equipped with proper information in order to make the right moves out here in life, you know, because life is actually not just about making moves, but it's about knowing how to maneuver. You have to know how to maneuver around obstacles and the more information and the more proper information that you equip yourself with, the better moves that you will be able to make. You know, right now, our young people are consumers. And consumers is like, um, 
it's a commodity, you know, versus being a producer, which are one of the important things that we talked about over the summer, that was our youth business network as well as the Youth Entrepreneurship Society. You know, we have to train our young people the difference between being a producer and being a consumer. The difference between paying retail versus paying wholesale. You know, um, the difference between squandering your money and saving your money. So we always like to enlighten our young people with these concepts and ideas and skill sets and we will continue to do that at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery. The Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, we're all about arts and creativity, but it's important that we express the importance to our young people of what enterprise is all about. We are in a free enterprise system. So why be in a system that you know nothing about? If you're in a system that you know nothing about, then you will always be used by the system as opposed to learn how to use the system to your benefit. All right, so that eats up about uh, most of my time. I appreciate you joining us once again. It's always a pleasure being here. The Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, Shy Rise Show, as we like to call it. Remember, Shy Rise, not Shy Rack. Y'all have a good evening. Peace.